Hi, my name is Calvin Michaud. I'm in the Academic Initiatives group here at Wolfram Research. This video screencast will show how to enhance a course management system using Mathematica. Many teachers have pointed out that typical CMS documents are really textbooks being viewed on a computer, and there's no real change in the workflow or a student's overall experience. I'll show how Mathematica can be used to help teachers get around this and communicate engaging ideas, give students more immediate feedback, and link real-world data sets to textbook examples. In terms of a student's workflow, teachers are used to posting links to examples in a CMS, and then the students download them as needed. So although we're looking at Mathematica here rather than a CMS, the links will work the same, generally speaking. So some links that I'll show will open web pages, other links will download files that students would work on in their copy of Mathematica, and then they can upload their work to the CMS for the teacher to grade later. So let's click on this first link, just as your students would do. It's important for students to be able to learn at their own pace and have more depth in the content when they need it. So here's an example of a static PDF document that students could read to supplement a lesson, and this is a pretty common format. Rather than passively reading, here's a link for students for a Mathematica-based version. So this shows lots of variations rather than just three, and it actually encourages student interaction. So the slider gives much more depth to the content, and it naturally guides students to take as much time or as little time as they need to understand the concept. The entire document, including all the text, was created in Mathematica. So let's go back and click on this second example, again, just as your students would. So another important aspect of a CMS lesson is getting feedback to and from students while they work. So the examples should give feedback to students right away so they won't do poorly on a quiz or a test as their first sign that they don't understand something. This particular example is a homework assignment, and again, it's in static PDF format, and students might work through this with their calculator. So the calculator gives them an answer, of course, but no real advice on how to set up the problem. A big part of this particular problem is using a formula which requires some thought. So students go from a percent to a decimal, they go from a, bit, from a period of years to months, and then they have to set up the equation correctly. So going back, this Mathematica-based example is a much better way for students to check their answers. So it doesn't just check the arithmetic, it also helps them check how they've set up the equation and think about how to set up the overall problem. So let's go back and click on this next link, again, just as your students would, and let's look at some sample data. So in general, a CMS does not do all that much for students during the process of writing a paper. Research for paper often involves the internet these days, and that can lead students down the path of using unreliable data or data that is not very easy to reuse outside of a website example, and that's the case here, where only this graph and the raw data are available. Mathematica's load-on-demand data is great for open-ended queries and for creating reliable templates that students can use for a particular project. This particular example gives students GDP data for different countries, and then it's used for statistics. This sort of template is easy for students to understand since the entire project is in one place, and Mathematica is also a great tool for creating the actual text for the paper, and it's got many, many formatting options. So again, they can upload their paper as a Mathematica document to the CMS for the teacher to grade. So Mathematica can be really useful in a CMS setting, and these overall concepts apply to really any math or science or engineering or business or finance course. I'm working right now on the next follow-up video that really shows more of the teacher's process to create these types of examples. I'm also working on a few examples that are more specific to teacher prep. So here's the first example. Since Mathematica has a random number generator and a full programming language, this application gives teachers infinite problems to upload to a CMS auto grading system. This, this example would work for a multiple choice or true-false format, and it would create all the right formatting for the CMS system. So textbooks usually include some test questions that work with a CMS, but teachers usually want more problems for quizzes or practice tests. So let's go back. Here's the second example, and it uses Mathematica itself to deliver quizzes instead of the CMS, and students can generate and work through as many or as few problems as they need to learn a concept. Mathematica auto-grades these on the spot, no matter how many problems the student generates or needs to work through. So going back, 
here is my email address. I would really like to hear what concepts or what content you'd like to learn in this next video as I put it together. And also let me know if you'd like a copy of any of these examples that I was showing through the course of this video. So I'd really like to try to incorporate as many people's ideas as possible. I hope this video gave you some good ideas, and thanks for watching.